best thing of all time. I think Old Spice should do it because, like, they're the most... I don't know. You think of, like, hip deodorant and I think Old Spice. I mean, it's a weird sentence to be saying, but... All right, so game number one. We're heading to Yoshi's. Now, this is kind of like a new adaptation in the in the meta between these two players. For a long time, Ben did not like the stage because you die off the top so early, but he's kind of learning, I think, or he's learned that he likes the scrap, and when he gives Preeminent so much room to run around, Preeminent just runs over him. Like, Fox's maneuverability on Sheik, at least in this setup, is good, but, you know, when they're at least scrapping like this, Ben actually, like, gets those tech chases pretty good, gets some kills early, makes it challenging. Um, and he's got really good defensive options and a little bit more of an uppy mix-up with Randall in the mix every once in a while. Also, uh, just the platforms being as low as they are, you can up E to him, makes the edge guard not quite as bad. Like, it's still pretty good for Preminent, but it's interesting that this is now, like, the new, like, strike stage that they go to. Um, and I'm kind of glad that he's, like, pushing the meta between the two. Or between them. And already, it's looking pretty good for Ben. I think, uh, generally, whoever wins game one is mostly favored in these two. It almost always goes down to game five, but just with, like, FD and Pokemon being in the mix, it can be really rough. So, getting a, you know, getting this game as a W is really big, I think, for Ben. But, on the other half of our stage, takes two to Tango. Ramonet is putting in work here. I mean, he went and down early, but... He is making Ben work for all of this right now, and I think he's looking to take the lead for the first time so far. Three stocks to two. Looking to put on a little extra percent. God, every single time that gun comes out for like just that one shot, it means something. Like, two percent might not mean a lot right now, but, you know, if Ben barely does off the top, you better believe that that laser mattered. But, Peck Chase coming out here. And actually, that laser interrupted a perfect halftime. I'm very disappointed by that, actually. Ben, putting out some good moves here. I would hate his curse for that chain, but you know, I can't, uh, can't, I can't stop everything. I, I think you tried to cross catch that up smash and you just got scooped. Oh, just re hard reads that coming down. Not quite. Maybe it needed another 2% to take off the top of that one. Oh, what a fade and what... God, Ramnant's so adept. He, he couldn't even see Randall throughout most of it, but he knew exactly where he was. I think he had an idea when he got sent up, but that's just solid play right now, and Ben is unable to find the same save. Randall was there, but just wasn't willing to risk it. Anyways, game one last stock. Pretty close right now, only 30% split. Both of them are just kind of short hopping and uh, throwing out aerials. And three Swanton bombs later, Brandon looks for a combo off the top, but is unable to find it. So Ben starts on now. Ben with a slight lead, about 20%. Oh, just missing a little bit. Preeminent reads the roll in. Ben, though, level one play coming straight back down. Fair to send off, and that's game number one. Ben taking it. And, uh, you know, if you include some of the Smash, uh, some of the Summit, I think Ben is now on, like... Ben's kind of on a tear against Preeminent a little bit. And, like, they're, they go back and forth quite a bit on, like, who's hot right now, who's losing, who's kind of got, you know, the idea, but... We'll see. Game number two. I think the choice is between FD and... and Pokemon. I'm, I'm never quite sure which one Anthony's going to pick. I know he's picked Pokemon first a couple times. I've seen him pick... FD first a few times, I think it's just what he's feeling more, and it's one of those things where I feel like, like this stage is so good against Sheik, but specifically good against Ben. Ben's down 5, or sorry, 6 to 12, this season. Hot stats coming from ATM, yeah, I'd believe that, but I think the last specifically couple of times they play, like if you look at just the most recent stuff, I think Ben's a little bit uh, more in the lead. This stage looks so difficult for Sheik. Unless you're like just an absolute god at reaction tech chasing, or you just shadow box him. That was that was the uh, that was a movement kill if I ever saw one. He's like canceling needles, threatening short hop fares, threatening tomahawks, doing absolutely nothing, and instead just Ramna gets scared and kind of runs off. So three stocks apiece. Ramnet evens it up. 
And, uh... I would say he's definitively in the lead right now. If he, I mean, if he's, you know, air quote tied, but he threw a stock away, I think that means he's in the lead. Like, obviously scoreboard, but, you know, like, the mental up. Oh, no. Hits the needles, grabs ledge, comes up. Wasn't able to convert on that, but I think that's a difficult position. I think Ben got as, about as much as he could off of that. Preeminent, once again, reading that kind of tech roll in. Oh, just babysits him and shines on the way down. Ben forced to up beyond the stage. I'll throw up air. God, it's such a good combo. Like, what would Spacey's have without it? Other than shines and every other good move. But, God, it's, it's just so efficient. Oh, jeez. Calls out that jump, and it's basically done even again. Only 6% from a true halftime. Man, these players do give me true halftimes. I feel like the higher in skill level you kind of go up when each player is evenly matched, you get them more frequently because, you know, people are better at, like, you know, getting the big old zero to deaths and just comboing it off somebody. But Ben has a grab in the corner. Oh no, Anthony DI'd like too far over and got off to the stage? I don't think he wanted that at all. Ben actually a real chance here to uh, go up on the counter peak advantage. I mean, he's like kind of already up because he got the first game, but like this, a win here would be really big. And sitting at 83%, Getting Anthony up with a couple of grabs right now? This is very, very doable. Just a raw up smash call out. Don't know if he's going to be able to make it back. Not quite. Remnant sitting at AZ percent. Uh, he does not want to lose here. And uh, Ben fishing for things. Gets a jab. Breaks him out of that power up percent. But this is not over yet. Good power shield from both players. Coming out. Down air to up air is going to seal it. And Preeminent is going to go down. Ben up two to zero. Oof, man, as soon as I saw that dash attack, I was like, is he just gonna fair him and then DI yeah, down? But no, Ben was a step ahead of that. He hits that dare, follows it up with the up air, and I think that was almost like the perfect percent to kill. Like it was I had to hold my breath there, like I wasn't I wasn't quite sure. I think some commotion in the background there. Both players look. I can hear uh I can hear some woes going out. But um I think you run it back. 2-0 right now, Ben over preeminent. Uh, I was gonna say is I think you run it back. Just because, you know, you hit the, uh... You lost basically two stocks to suicides, right? And it was still, you know, last stock. So, I'm not really sure if he's just not feeling confident on those ledge dashes, or maybe he doesn't want to put himself in those positions again, and he wants, you know, maybe easier kills off the top. But, I gotta believe that you need that one on FD, so... Oh my god. Yeah. Emo, text your boy, tell him to shake it off. That was... You know, he, he, I think he just got to struggle. Like, okay, yeah, he, he read me on that one. He, he got me good. He read that roll. For sure. But already this game looking much better for Preeminent. Hacking on a lot of percent here. Getting Sheik into the corner a couple times now. Another short hop there. Oh, a little, a little too far on that uh, dash dance to turn around for an up smash, but it doesn't matter. That's a zero death. 45% payment has not been touched, and it's two stocks down. This is uh, not looking good for Ben, but you know what? I think he's still okay. You know, Pokemon Stadium is always a rough one for Sheik. It's just one of those stages that nobody really likes. You know, Foxes like it because it's short and it's good for them, but Sheiks hate it. You know, piss off the Sheik with one easy trick. You won't believe how simple it is. You just, you just pick FD. I mean, um, Pokemon. Oh my god. People are getting so loud out there. I think there's another game going hype. But Ben kind of turning on the Jets a little bit. It's the... You know, he gets the, uh, he gets the custom combo there. The, the, the scoop to fair is the classic, but, you know, he makes it a little more fancy. He goes scoop up air. It's fine. It works. And it's three stocks to two. I... 3 0 is not out of the question just yet. He's got AZ percent. He goes out there, hits that back air. Ooh, and preeminent. I think just had really not great DI. And he just couldn't quite get over there. And all of a sudden, Ben hasn't been touched in a while, and it's. It was four stocks to two, and now it's it's practically even. We've seen Ben come back from 100% deficits against Preeminent before, and this is so not out of the question. All of a sudden, he just, you know, the momentum has shifted, and it just doesn't say it, it shifts right back. I really should not commentate, ever. 
It's just a terrible choice on my part. I'm rooting against the Sheik's one as soon as I start talking about it. But last stock here, Framnant looking to get on the board. Gets a nice couple hit combo there. 57% already. And uh, he's just trying to... I think just he's fine taking the trades, right? Every time one of those events happens, he's like, yeah, it's fine. I understand I'm getting percent and I might die first for it, but you know, you're gonna die off the top a lot faster than I am. Preeminent making it look easy that last stock. On the board, two games to one, but we go to Ben's counter pick. So historically, Dreamland and Found of Dreams have been his uh, go-to. And it looks like today he'll be opting for the fountain. Uh, even though, even though I think he thinks that, oh no, I, th I think he thinks that Battlefield is, uh, one of his better choices, but, you know, he likes Mount of Dreams. Hey, you know, just pick it. I think it's, I think you pick it because, you know, the really tall ceilings, the classic, you get some weird things off of tilts, but so far, this is looking rough, uh, 100% down, Ben is down a solid stock. On his counter pick right here. So, uh, I think already kind of going through my head is that, hey, if Ben can win on uh, Preeminent's counter pick, why can't uh, Preeminent do the exact same thing? And so, Ben right now is trying to shut me up. He's like, look at this, look at the tech chase. I've been working on this. That was, uh, that was a lot of damage right there, and I'm gonna try to get the kill off of this, but Preeminent playing some good defensive game, techs far away to avoid it. Nair trades though. Grabs ledge, rolls up, three stocks apiece, only 35% for Ben, brings it all the way back. All the way back. So he's looking. We're trying to find it. All of a sudden, Ben moving on these platforms. Really good look at that dash dance grab. He gets he's getting more. Oh, and that's why this counter pick stage is so good. Those tilts on that platform are just deadly for the spacey player. Look at how much damage got eaten up, and all of a sudden, Ben in a solid lead, not solid, but decent enough lead. I lied, good SDI attempts, but a solid up smash is gonna do it. Preeminent knows this percents and, all right, Ben was putting on some work, but, hey, you know what, I don't make the percents, but a true halftime is upon us. It's real. I think they've hit it like every single game so far, it's nuts. I don't even know why I say true halftime, it's just a halftime. Players take a break, somebody's on the angel platform, you know. Ooh, get up attack, beating out down smash, but that even in percents right now, Ben though with momentum, getting a couple grabs, misses that turnaround, he had the right idea though, back throw, puts him off, reacts, oh that platform though actually slightly screwing up, I think he wanted to come down on that short hop with a bear to cover that ledge, oh no, and he throws it away, he had that lead. Uh, this really could have been two stocks one in Ben's favor instead, but Kramen is not going to piss this opportunity away, and he he wants to go to a game five. He's looking. Swanton Bond finds things. He's in the corner. All of a sudden, Fox cannot be touched. He's looking for things. He says, I got tilts on platform two, but a backer's going to find it. Grab ledge, roll up. Okay, we got last stock Ben at 50%, trying to put the soy three, three games to one. But we'll see. Preeminent, no slouch. He's been here hundreds of times before. If not thousands of times, Ben's stuck on a plat though. He's rolling, he's a little scared. Both of them paused for a reason, not entirely sure what that was about. But coming in at 9%, Ben's gonna have to put on a lot of damage in a quick time. Try to get a grab out there. Unable to. Oh, the trade is not quite what he wanted. He's gonna have one more chance. Oh, and the roll read again. Oh, just play the crypt. He read that roll. He read that roll. Shirt goes flying. All right, but we got a game five. It was close and we're running it back. He's feeling confident. He knows. He knows that this is the right stage for him. <laughs> it's the Ben. It's the classic. He's nervous in corner and Anthony's literally already in place. Yeah. We'll see. Game number five so far, starting off just like game number four, and on the counter pick, trying to find something, but preeminent with an early lead. He's getting a little bit better on this uh, reaction tech chase, though. Getting a couple here on that platform. Actually, I think screwed him up a little bit, but doesn't matter. We're keeping it going. Gets the wave dash back on the ambiguous DI. Goes forward. Dare to fair that a combo extender, and that was 
Man, that was almost like a touch of death from that 15-20% initially. That was uh, straight through. I don't think Ben moved from that 100% the whole time. Ooh. I think that was a crouch cancel jab into an up smash. Good defensive awareness from Preeminent turning percent into a kill. But we're back to that even game. Three stocks apiece. Looking. Ben, though. All right, we've been here before. How much can he get? Looks like maybe starting off another one. Uh, it's a little slow on both opportunities, but it is hard. That tech in place, that instant shine, you know, get off me, can be challenging. Ooh, rising there, smart option. I don't think he was looking for that. Dashes away out of the flames, but Tramnet goes to life instead. Calls out the approach with a fair of his own, grabs ledge, rolls up. Hey, it's two stocks to three. Ben looking with a decent lead so far. It's not much, though. Graham has been here so often. But gets another grab. Oh, the percent's kind of stacking up already. Up smash is going to kill at 116. Two stocks apiece. Graminant with a lot of drills right now. It's so tight. He just he just waits, but Ben moves in not to be one waited on. The needles pushes him off the ledge. Oh, but what a wall ride. That was so good. Oh, and that Firefox angle just avoiding the needles that Ben was throwing. That honestly could have been... That could have been the... That could have been it if he got hit with those needles. That would have pushed him pretty low, and I think a uh, ledge grab backer would have been in his future. But instead, Kramnit has brought it all the way back, and an up smash on the platform is going to find the kill. Kramnit regains the lead with one set remaining. Or sorry, one stock remaining. Ben into his winner side stock. This is all he's got. He's got a lot of percent on preeminent. Down smash, re-grab ledge. He's going to go high, back here to push off. Ben really needed to find that kill there. Instead, Preeminent's going to make it as difficult as he possibly can. God, Ben just back airing in the corner. Gets a grab. Down air. Down smash to seal. No, not quite. I thought it was going to be enough. Rolls up. Oh, he's still living. Preeminent with an amazing recovery. Oh, and the Ops attack on the Nair. God, he is Uncle Punch out of the lane. It doesn't matter. We got last game. Last stock. A quarter on Ben. That's all it is. But we've seen him do zero to us. We've seen Anthony make crazy combos here. 41%. Does Preeminent have what it takes to upset the defending Minnesota Smash Summit champ? And they go back and forth. But you know it's the last time they played. All of a sudden, it's a little bit closer. Ben fighting. He's rolling. They trade a little bit. Every percent looks worse and worse. But he gets out of it. Slow up smash out of shield is not going to seal the deal. All of a sudden, Ben turning on the Jets. Finding a little bit of room. Finding some momentum. And gets a spike. A stage flight? What the heck? What a way to end the set and Ben moves on! Oh my god, he... Oh, Preeminent got so close and Ben says this is my legend slaps him out of the way. Holy crap.